consider myself a light artist uh, but also an installation artist. So the work I'm presenting for Sculpture in the Gardens is my first ever installation on water and as such it's my first ever exploration with colour mixing of newly moulded acrylic forms on the water using kinetic energy or the natural elements of water, wind and sun and the sun will help also with reflections and it's all very important how they interact together because the ephemeral qualities of the actual light passing through the forms connecting and colour mixing the forms as they um, dance across the pond. I want it to look beautiful and really simple, but actually it represents time and our lives and the importance of meeting people, connections and that sort of thing, and the ephemerality of time and how quick it passes and that our actions and thoughts and that sort of thing today actually have consequence or can it impact tomorrow. So this is the form that I'm making to cast the acrylic um, forms off, the actual dancers that will be on the water. And weight was an issue. So instead of being fully solid, I've had to make it a lot lighter which has meant making up the frame like I do for my uh, canvas, like with these paintings, and then manipulating the MDF so that I can get the correct shape ready to cast from. It's not there yet, it has to be perfectly finished. It's on the way back. So within my art practice as a whole, I like to create things of quality that will last a lifetime and beyond. And so we've been working together with engineers to make sure that they have longevity and they're intended for life. And part of this is the environmental impact and the consideration of that. Um, and I'm really endorsing the circular environmental theory that actually they continue to live and continue the life cycle and aren't disposed of that you know the longevity is really being thought about so i've deliberately made them yin and yang and life size so they're anthropomorphic in nature and the idea is as they pass in front of one another we'll see through one and through the other and it will colour mix and then also we get the refractive and reflective light mixes as well and the reflections on the water. I'm looking forward to seeing that in real life uh, because my small scale trials here are exactly to scale so they're giving me an idea of how they interact but obviously the wind conditions of the actual pond that will be specific to the botanic gardens. Breathing aspect within my artwork is always important for myself and hence with the dancers using the kinetic energy of the sun, the wind and the water uh, to move the work so that they're not just static, so that they do interact and they actually breathe and live and move with time.